now recording. Hello, Darius. Is he here? No. I don't see him. No? Hello, Darius? He's supposed to pop into waiting. He hasn't popped into waiting. <laughs> Can this they see general? Can podcast listeners see general? No, they can't see. Oh, yeah. I don't they know. They can? Just give him gas. All right. There, gas roll. Boom. Done. Yo, what's up, man? How's it going? Yeah, it's going. It's I. I just got one my dog. About to hit by the surf again. Just chill out there for me. You know yeah. So, yeah. Uh, are you on mobile right now, or? I'm on mobile. Yeah, my dog even be walked out. So. Okay. Uh, should I go? Right. Should I get you on a mic or what? No, no. I mean, we can do whatever. Uh, we get we got a guy on mobile as well. I just you know, I just want to make sure okay. you're good. Um, I got my nigga with material relevant here. If you know that guy, it's pretty cool. Yeah, pretty it's neat. just like your mobile kind of. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Kind of sounds kind of bad. Like it's it's kind of hard to hear you. Uh, hello, hello, hello. That sound better. Not, Not bad really. Words. Massive. All right. Uh, let me finish getting this girl's shit, and I'll go home. Okay. I'll we'll wait for it. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're good. All right. All right, well, that was so our well. that was our interview with Darius. I uh... <laughs> that's the greatest interview of all time. <laughs> like this is going great. If Bro, he doesn't show had, up, core, he, we're uploading that. If, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> but if he has that audio again, bro, like it, he said, yeah, he's going it's home. It, it's, he said he's going it's, home. It's not worth it. I love yeah, how he goes something irrelevant, and then he's like, "I have to get my dog to shit." I uh. I, I don't sound as bad as him, right? I'm no, only a no, no, I sound no. way better. Okay. In comparison, yeah. You sound absolutely. ten times better than him. <laughs> that was the funniest fucking thing I've ever heard. Uh, I, I really, I really had to hold it in. I, I was on the brink there. there. I ain't gonna lie. I was on the verge. I was, I was almost gonna laugh at him. You know, y'all can speak up. I was about ready to fucking be like, all right, let's do it. Well, I figured, no, you know, no. Matt, Matt, Pitt, Matt Pitt was like the intermediary here, you know. He's yeah. supposed to, you know, he's he's the final say, you know. He is the content dad. Well, if I'm just saying, if I didn't, I did, if I didn't see FPS, uh, FPS Diesel say something in the group chat, I wouldn't have said, I would have been like, all right, I guess. Are you, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, I would have been like, all right, I guess we're doing that been That would have been the worst recording possible that we've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> like, Bro, my job was movie. just getting him here, okay? It's not my job to fucking be like, all right, change your mic. That's well, so funny. It was. That was so funny, man. Well, I, it's, not, it's not like I expected Darius to be pulling up on like a Nokia brick phone. Like, yeah. I, right. Nobody was expecting that. I'll do the intro right now. Hi, welcome. I'm Matt Pitt. Uh, with me today are some special guests, and hopefully today, We'll be having another special guest join us. You see, uh, what's been going on is uh, everyone's obsessed with this Darius guy. Uh, Nicholas Diorio showed a bunch of Darius clips in a uh, voice chat. And all of a sudden, everybody's Darius crazy. And uh, Chris and Art can't stop talking about him. With me today is Chris and Art. What's up? How you doing? And I'm not Darius obsessed. He yes, is a are. god yes, of Riz. He's a yes, god of Riz. Totally yes, different. He's a god uh, of Riz. FPS Diesel is here. Um, I'm not as Darius pilled as Chris, but yeah, I'm here for for it as well. Yeah, and Darius' <laughs> biggest bullshit. fan right now is uh, Core Master, who's with me right now. Yeah, hi, hello. I love a, a good Darius. <laughs> <laughs> so, so much cringe. Uh, I don't know if uh, we're gonna leave what happened in the beginning, but he joined. He was walking his dog. His mobile sucked, and he said, "Hold on, let me get back home. Uh, let me get my dog to shit, and then I'll I'll be here." So. Uh, Bro, yeah. he's, he's just off the cuff. He just says it like it is. Yeah. Uh, this is the next Andrew Tate. While we're waiting, Chris, you want to give some Darius context for the listeners? Yeah, sure. Uh, so when it comes to Darius, from what I understand, Nick showed me a clip of him going off on Lav. If you don't know who Lav is, that is the girl that tried to accuse Destiny of being like a creep. And Mr. Girl is using her as <clears throat> some kind of scapegoat for their own personal beef. Uh, he called Lav like a dumb bitch and went through like the whole cycle. We got a good laugh out of it. And I started digging deeper onto his channel. And this guy is an untapped law cow in the politics community. I'm sorry, Darius, but you are. It's amazing. He, he has he has obsessions with women that don't even know who he is. 
There, there's so many things. There's so many layers to this man. I find it hilarious. The Darius Riz. <laughs> the Darius Riz. Yeah. So these guys kept talking about him, and Core wanted him on. So I, I, I reached out. You know, I had DM'd, DM'd him a month prior because he had a situation that I don't know if we're going to go into. Uh, that guy got public, and he never, he never responded. Well, then, um, a month later, they're still all about this Darius guy. So uh, I add him on Twitter. And he does respond, and he's like, yeah, he, he wants to do it. And then he shows up on Destiny stream and says, Nicholas Diorio wants him to come on a podcast. And I'm like, wait, wait, wait. Oh, this is the Nick Diorio podcast. This is not the Nick Diorio podcast. This is the Nick Diorio podcast. It's the Nick Diorio recording. Um, but, uh, yeah, so uh, I've been talking to him in DMs. I've been, like, uh, uh, the in-between for these guys and Darius for some reason. And I've been talking to him, and it's been a very interesting conversation. Uh, we were supposed to do uh, the episode an hour ago, two hours ago, and he uh, he had to cancel. So I reached out to him. I was like, look, we can do it later tonight if you want to. And he's like, how about right now for an hour? And I was like, okay, let's do it. And uh, yeah, now we're just waiting. Uh, D-Max, what's up, man? Yo, I wonder when is right now for Darius? Yeah, it's well, you know, he, he showed world, up. Bro. He showed up. That's what I'm saying. Like, like <laughs> who knows? Maybe, maybe it does mean something else for him. Yeah, he I, showed, I, he showed up for five minutes in his uh fucking. Well, and his... also too, Matt, you kind of flew by like how like you interacted with him on Twitter. Can you read the like? I, I, I hate to put you on the spot. Can you read the exact tweets because I think that it does more justice to what actually. Happened. I don't think really Matt does. can say some of yeah. those words. I don't I think don't... he has the right. <laughs> well, are you like? I don't know if I want to read his DMs. Are you talking about the? No, 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 no. I'm talking about the tweets. Like the, oh. because it was the tweet exchange that like I loved it because it like didn't he like reply to you like something like yurt yurt yeah yurt. Uh, let me see. <laughs> I'm like, what? Like, I've never heard that before all or, right I so just read it this is what happened all right I said yo at Darius would you like to come on our podcast he said what's up with it shoddy and I said so at Nicholas Diorio <laughs> has been showing us some of your clips and we think you're hilarious wouldn't mind sitting down and talking with you for like an hour or so I'll DM you to see if you can if we can get you scheduled. And he said, yurt. <laughs> <laughs> don't you find this guy entertaining? Like, That's what I'm on. saying, though. No, this guy is interesting. And I, didn't he say something like that? Didn't he say uh, that he's not weird or that he's weird, not interesting? I'm like, dude, this. Yeah, <laughs> dude, you're interesting. Like, yeah. I, I hate to tell you. Yeah. Oh, Chris and Ark, I do want to ask you something. Yeah, sure. Was drama alert tweeting about Darius? Your was that you? No, Did you that have something to do me. with that. Was that I'm, you DMing someone on Drama Alert and being like, look what happened? <laughs> no, no. The funniest part, it was random because I'm in a group chat with Gino and I saw the tweet go out and I immediately called out Gino. I was like, why are you putting the lol cow on blast? What the fuck? <laughs> and she, <laughs> hey, she Darius. Got, yo, what's up? Hey, what's up, Darius? Hey, what's up, man? What's up, gang? All right. Where's my boy, Matt? Yo, what's up? That's me. Yo, got a voice to a name. What's up, Matt? Yo, what's up? Uh, is there any way you could maybe bump yourself up just a little bit? You trying to call me short? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I am. I That's am exactly calling what's right. happening. Cause I'm bigger now. Uh, how are you? How are you guys hearing him? He sounds. He sounds good to me. He sounds good. To you? <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. You All right. right. Yeah, I'm good. I'm just coming a DSP moment. I'm getting out. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. Well, um. I I just we decided to record while we were waiting for you to explain all the context of like how these guys found you uh, Darius these guys Chris and Ark Diesel Core uh, they're your biggest fans man they've been talking about you like crazy yeah okay. uh, been, yeah I'm little taking little an interest in your in your career is uh, it negative or positive it's pretty positive I find you an entertaining person I, I wanted to ask you like how did you get started in the streaming sphere and how did you meet Destiny. The so that shit's actually pretty autistic. So I, I've always been like pretty retarded online. It's just, I don't know, I've always wanted it really fucking funny. But like back like four years ago, um, I used to just like be an, a pretty active chatter. And then like, I don't know, I was in a relationship when I was like 18 to 23. And then when I got into the world of like streaming and stuff online, like I had a lot of questions because like I was just like fucking one chick for the rest of my life. And like Steven talked about dating stuff. Steven talked about like a lot of like political shit. So I found Destiny through um, some video. I saw I knew Destiny since like Justin TV, but I didn't become like a DGG -er since like 2016. But I used to be pretty active in this chat. Got um, started talking about how there's some girl that was like passed out on my. You know, you know a story about Reddit or whatever. You know, do I need to link you to the thread? No, uh, I, I haven't heard that. But you can no, link I it. Haven't. 
Yeah, you can. All right, let me link you this shit real quick. Hold up, <laughs> before I talk about it. Uh, okay. So this is how like I became like this is like my first instance of like when I was like okay I should start streaming. Um, I'm putting it in the now rec room chat. Okay, so there's this Reddit thread posted about the shit that I was saying. So there's this girl that I was fucking with. I thought she was banging, absolutely banging. First time I ever like really had a girl over from Tinder, and I was curious how I should like interact with this girl. Um, so I started asking chat like, "Hey guys, I have a girl in my bed. Do I just let her sleep, or do I like wake her up and ask if she wants to fuck or something?" Um, TLDR, I didn't end up waking her up. I just put a blanket on her. But throughout the whole thing, it's like the messages are really weird. It sounds like I'm gonna like touch her in her sleep. Long story short, I don't. I leave her alone. But but it sounds like it sounds it very much sounds like it sounds really weird. I have a whole like there's like a whole thing where like people think I'm like a sex offender or something on Steven's stream. Yeah, you got one where it says, "Wish me luck. I'm not raping anyone." Okay, well, yeah, there's there's some weird stuff in there. I'll be honest. It, look, it looks bad. It looks bad. I'll be honest. It was it was a fine night. That was a fine night. Though she loved it. I showed her the thread. Like so, we started. I started dating this girl a year later after that. After this whole scenario, I never saw her. But a year later, I started dating her because uh, we caught back up. Um, and, uh, she saw it and she was disgusted. She thought, she was like, okay, this is fucking weird. But, you know, it's Riz kind of, if you think about it. Uh, so, so you would call it Riz, uh, for that conversation in general. What do you classify as Riz, Darius? Uh, probably for me personally, like, I think embarrassing yourself. And I think women have, like, always a sense of fear of just, like, guys that are around. And that's just because of how, like, people are. If you, like, embarrass yourself well, are you dropping fucking alcohol on my foot? Okay, now you're good. Okay, as if you have like a, if you can embarrass yourself a little bit, make yourself look a little goofy. Generally, um, people feel a lot safer around you, and if they feel safer around you, they're a lot more willing to like talk about things okay. or like hey, be so, more open. So, so, so your way of attracting women is to act goofy. Now, do you do that on hey, purpose so online or? Um, online, it's not intentional. I genuinely, when I first started doing it, it was like, well, even now today, I just do it because it's funny to like have people like freak the fuck out like everything was straight rate and me like uh like this is actually i'm not gonna talk about that but like there's been a lot of other girls over there just posted shit about on twitter and it's just like people like kind of like freak out about it like oh my god this guy's gonna literally serial kill you and i'm probably like the most normal guy ever you meet in real life um because yeah, I, I saw a stream with you uh recently it kind of i think it went down <clears throat> where uh you were doing uh you were having your chat help you do like tinder dates and stuff right like you were set you were showing your chat like the dms you were having with tinder dates yeah. and i wanted to ask there was there was one part where this girl was like blowing you up about another girl that you were seeing you want to elaborate on that more like i a girl named nova i think is that am i getting that right nova uh yeah the girl the girl that's on i always forget her name it's the girl that is on your stream uh the one that's uh the one that you have as your uh, wallpaper background i think Sherry? that yeah, yeah, Cherry. My bad. I was thinking of a different one. I'm not sure. Wait, Shader was blowing me up. Oh, wait, was that yesterday? I was no. I think it was like two, three days ago. You were doing like uh, uh, you were talking to some girl. And she was like blowing you up and being uh, like you're obsessed girl. with Cherry. That was a different girl. So prior to uh, streaming, so I so before I got on from Twitch, I me and my ex, my ex fiance, broke up, and I kind of like started like fucking around, like talking to a lot of chicks, um, and a lot of chicks end up like I'm, I'm like. I don't know. Girls really like me. So there are some girls that I talk to uh, rom semi-romantically. And they, I talked to them about how, when, once I got on band, I was like, hey, I know this is like a pretty big shift in how things have been going, but like I'm probably going to start streaming and a lot of my content's based on like fucking and like uh, just like doing dating content and like flirting with chicks, getting t turned down or sometimes getting turned up. And, you know, it might relate to sex. It might relate to something um, there. Just like, you no, know, like this is like mostly just content it's just like it's, it's what, like I'll, I'll make like friendships out of these people probably but like the girls that i met outside of stream are, are generally the people that i meet like where i'm when i'm at myself and i'm at my 100 percent. so like you guys like are more much more valuable than um uh these like tinder chicks i'm bringing over uh and a lot of girls the girls that um weren't uncomfortable with that were were like okay that's cool i'll watch your content blah 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 and then when i started streaming and then, uh there's this banging I'm just gonna come over this weekend. There's this banging chick uh, who came over, and uh, we kissed on stream. And after that, uh, a couple of the girls saw the podcast. I'm oh, sorry, the podcast saw the um, stream, and they just blew up my phone uh, for the next like 12 hours. Uh, 
Damn. I got to ask what your uh your polyamorous life are you trying to model that after Destiny? No, so when I originally so I actually, I'll be honest, I may have been legitimately like kind of siphon from Steven, but like when I was 23, no 22, me and my like 5 year long ex, we tried being open at the end, but it was more like we were just like both too afraid to do it and then like cuz we just started hating we but it was like it was mostly like a excuse to like get into being open because we both didn't really like each other like sexually anymore um so we wanted to just move on so that didn't end up working out so as soon as my relationship ended i went on like a full like fuck boy status and i was kind of just doing like open stuff relatively with other girls um i mean like the poly stuff like as far as like because I've, I've talked to steven and his uh, fiance pretty personally i think their their relationship is pretty like uh i think it's good as far as like how they manage things um, so, I mean, like, I've kind of, like, siphoned, I guess, a couple things from them, and I've tried to look, learn how to do it better as I've talked to them more personally. Um, but, like, I wouldn't say that it's, like, because I saw Destiny do it. I'm like, I want to do it or whatever. All right. All right. I was just wondering. Um, I got to ask. I think I think Matt also knows about this because that's how we found out about you is your Twitter. Um, it's it's unique. It's a very unique Twitter account. <laughs> um, I, I, I wanted to ask. Because from the Twitter account, we found the la- the clip of you talking about Lav. What is your issue with Lav? Because that seems I, to be like a point of contention with you. I don't think I have any issue with Lav. A lot of people think I like I I have some like really big beliefs on her. I just think like she's really fucking annoying. I mean, like she um she li- like I was like suicidal like four months ago, and I was in some random Discord because like that was right right when me and my ex broke up. And like, I'll be honest, I didn't have any fucking friends. I was like, all I know is these people on Discord. So I was talking to them there and she randomly just showed up and she gave me some pretty good advice. So like, I don't fucking hate her. Like, she's like relatively okay. I just think she's really fucking retarded. And she reminds me of a lot of like BPD chicks I've dealt with that are just like saying a lot of dumb shit just to like, not really for attention, but it's like, it's just like, they're just saying shit. They're just like spouting out shit. I don't know if you guys know this type of person. Like, I do that, honestly. So like, maybe I'm just projecting my own thing. But like, yeah. just t- they're just legit just talking. And it's like, and then... The thing is, like, for me, if I say something fucking retarded, uh, I, yeah, I said it. It is what it is. I'll fucking move on. Uh, but, like, when Lav says something fucking retarded, it's, like, a whole fucking war. But then it's, like, after the war, it's, like, oh, well, I was actually just being retarded. And it's, like, why even have a war then? Just, just say that yeah. you're fucking retarded and then, like, let's move on. Well, because you called her, you called her, like, educational sex toy thing, like, autistically retarded and that you were trying to simp on her and you had to give up simping with her. Yeah. Like, because of that. Yeah, because every time Steven has a girl on stream, it's, like, it's funny for me to, like, like I, I think Steven does genuinely think that, like, I do, uh, I, like, my whole bit is, like, I pretend to be horny so that way I can talk to girls sexually. Um, I legitimately just find it really fucking funny, really fucking funny to just be, like, jokingly horny on me. I've, there's been, like, girls that have actually tried to, like, advance things from, like, the trolling to, like, real stuff because, like, I'm a good-looking dude or whatever, like, okay, they, like, want to fuck around. But uh i don't know i'm just like I, it feels weird because i'm because i'm like i'm doing a joke but then if i actually engage with them sexually it's not a joke anymore so it's like okay i don't want to like be that i don't, I don't want to be that guy i don't be like the male feminist but like for trolling you know what i mean um so uh, you don't believe in a lot of that like male fem- feminist shit right what do you mean so like the idea that like women belong in the kitchen and all that stuff is that what you're trying to say no, like, I'm, like, I'm saying, like, I'm like oh i'm a male feminist like i'm just a feminist to get pussy like i'm just trolling to get pussy <laughs> you know what I mean? like, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, I'm, not, I'm not trying to say like, oh yeah, like, uh, I'm or whatever. But Fair I'm just enough. saying, would you say that you're a typical like, male you feminist? Like, or... like, what? Would you say that you're a typical male feminist? Or probably, I think girls say I'm a feminist in a way, but I think I definitely, um, I think that girl, they them I had uh, yesterday over would not call me a feminist. I think on my stream I give off very misogynistic <laughs> vibes. Um, I think in my content, uh, I definitely don't. Um, I definitely don't say like the best things. I think in my my real natural self, I would probably be listed as a male feminist. Fair enough. I, I listen to a lot, listen, I watch a lot of Destiny, so I have to be a feminist by like some sort of way, right? Yeah. Is, is that how it works? If you're, if you're I think Destiny, so. I think you're a feminist. Dude, I, I unironically, I legitimately, so I'm half black. So for until I was about like 19, I legitimately hated the fact that I was black. I, I was, like, super, like, I was, like, super racist. I was born and bred on, like, the internet. And then, like, fucking, I just, like, and everyone else is, like, super racist. I was born, like, 4chan, all that shit. So I was, like, oh, dude, I, hated, I absolutely hated the fact that I was, that I was black. And then, like, 
as I um, kind of, I, this is going to sound so cringe because this is like not the proper way you're supposed to learn this stuff. Um, but like, as I started like watching more of like Steven's content, um, I, got, I watched it when I was like 14 back on Justin TV. It was like StarCraft stuff and it wasn't really political. But then once um, uh, the like Trump elections started happening, that's when stuff got a lot more like ramped up with social politics and shit. So I listened to a lot of that stuff and kind of over time got over it. Uh, kind of thanks. Unironically, like thanks to him. Oh. Nice. Which is kind of, uh, like, really autistic, I think. It's kind of, like, really online. But it's better, you know, late than ever. Yeah. Does it, uh, get, does it get you, like, frustrated when people kind of, like, get at you and say, it's like, oh, well, you don't look black, so, you know, he can't say yeah, no, the N-word or anything like that? Yeah, no, like, look at me right now, dude. Like, do you, would you, like, legit... Oh, let me talk about you would not. You would not say this. This beautiful face is black. Not to say like people aren't beautiful, but you know what I'm trying to say. If uh, like, if you pay, if you, if you uh, may, if I had to make a bet, if you were black or not, I'd probably bet not black. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. So I get a lot, and it's and it doesn't like frustrate me to where it, like makes me angry, but it makes me um it, the the parts that I've recently started to be getting more comfortable with is when I mention it to like people as like a like a unique fact about me. I'm like, oh, actually, I'm like, black and white. I'll mention it to like a girl that's coming over to fuck. And then they'll be like, oh, I knew that because I don't fuck around with white guys. I was like, what the fuck? That's like, so, I, I, mean, I, I don't know, I just feel so fucking weird. And it's like, it's happened consistently to a point where it's like, I'm like, I don't want to, like, I don't feel like I'm fetishized at all, but it's like, I don't know, man. That seems like a really weird, like, thought process or thing to say for someone who's like, oh, I'm actually half black. Like, why don't you just, like, and it's all, usually like the first thing. And it's like, I'm like, I don't know. It just feels really weird. It feels kind of like really racist, but. I don't know. It seems like it's more acceptable to people these days. I'm pretty sure if like, I told that to like uh, most guys or, or most girls, uh, they would be like, oh, yeah, like me too, sis. So, I don't nice. know. Yeah. What do you say to the people that give you shit for saying the N-word? Because I, I see a lot of times when you're like in streams and stuff and you say it, people are like, whoa, 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 and like the whole chat blows up with it. Like, what? How do you feel about people that get upset with that with you? Uh, usually just like kill yourself, but like I think like as... I don't know. As I'm doing more stream stuff and I get more popular, I feel like I'm going to have actual people that are going to, like, uh, get on my shit. Like, I thought about, like, a world where I'm on Fresh and Fit, and, like, I decide to say nigga, and then, like, what happens is I get, like, three black chicks saying, you ain't going to say that shit to me. And I'm like, well, I'm half black. Like, I'm not going to have, like, my dad on standby to, like, prove that. So how am I going to handle that? Um, and I, I, think I, have, I have a question. I'm sorry to derail you, I, but I have a quick question. Like, how, in your opinion... You know, how black do you have to be in order to say the N-word? Like, is it 1% black? Is it, like, 50%? Like, is it that your dad or your mom has to be black? Like, just in your opinion. I would say, like, probably once. So, legit, like, okay, so I, I use foundation makeup, and my ex put, uh, like, a, a porn video that was, like, BBC stuff. And I had, like, <laughs> and I, had, like I, I, I bought, like, a two shades darker than me, and, like, that was perfect legit like that made me look like i would be like light skinned black you know what i mean so like right now so i don't know if anyone here uses makeup something called sandy beige from mate house if you get two shades darker than sandy beige probably that's about that's about it so i don't know what the fuck that is it's like i think it's called like something beige i don't i don't know what the fuck it's called but like i feel like that's enough it's like if there's like a makeup i, I, I don't know if i can like give a visualizer right now but two shades darker than whatever the fuck i am or like one shade darker because right. like I think in I, I think uh, well, online people give me Indian a lot. A lot of people in real life give me Native American or Mexican. So I think like one more shade darker if I was down it. Like if I got like a really good tan, I'd probably be like that's like people would say I'm light skin at most. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I wanted to I wanted to ask you because I have I have some things pulled up here because based on you know based on your love for simping on women I wanted to kind of like ask you I, I pulled up some pictures of like some of the biggest oh. e, e women online I want to know what you think of them Oh god I hope it's not like no, it's just like typical e women typical typical streamer women uh, Chris would you describe the women uh, it, here's the thing so Twitch women remind me too much of like other women that have traumatized me in life. So like mm -hmm. because I know she's from Twitch, I just get yeah. This is a lenity. Yeah, I'm not too interested. Like I don't think I would. Simp, I wouldn't simp over her. You wouldn't you know simp I mean? over her at all. I wouldn't would simp over lenity. Okay, okay, okay. So then, what about Amaranth? Yeah, Twitch woman. That's what I'm saying. You can't give me the. You can't give me the, really. You can't give me Twitch woman. You're gonna be Korean. I think the thing is Karina as well. It's like Twitch woman. I I'll like do. So here's my here's my goal. I was okay. So here's what I need to do. A I need to make up a thought of because right now I kind of like 
I don't know if any of you guys, guys have been watching my streams lately, but like the, the issue I have right now is that a majority of my audience is DGG related and a lot of my content is not political in a li even a little bit. So what I need to do is I need to think of a way to interact with the broader audience, i.e. Twitch e-girls, like Amarath, Karina Kov, all these people that you're showing me, but I need to think of a way to like have the desire to like like troll them. And the only thing, like not troll them, but like be creepy to them in a way that's like not what they already get, right? Like they already get creepy guys, like unironically. Like yeah. straight brains. So you want to up the ante. I want to up the ante. So what I've, what I've been thinking of is like ordering like a custom doll and like paint, like getting like a printed picture of them, like taped on it. And like doing like a <laughs> cute bot style, like Rod Royale stream and just like showing them off my dolls of each of the girls. But like, <laughs> that's, 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 like an investment. that's like an investment. Like, try to think, like, up, or like, you, King. but like you can go to Walgreens and print out a bunch of photos for like 30 cents. And I was like, I can literally just spend like one day to take my whole room with pictures of like Amaranth, uh, cute bot, uh, extra Emily, all these like corny ass Twitch streamer girls. And like, if my whole room looks like that, it'll make me look like a psychopath, and it's easy cloud. So I'm like, it's easy. So, it's like, so, it, so it's easy cloud to be the creepiest to the e women. Ironically, yes. Yeah, like, go full serial killer. Yeah, fuck yeah. it. Like it's like it's like it's like I feel like I give off the energy, and it's a little bit because of the way I carry myself, and also because I think I have like a warm press. I like my face. So I'm not gonna like say, but my face is like a little bit more like I guess cutesy. But like, I don't give off like cute. Like, if I was ugly, I, this would not go by. I'm pretty sure I'd be in jail. But like, because I'm a little bit more attractive, like I can get away with this stuff, and it can seem very harmless with the way I act. If that makes sense. Yeah, I, I guess there there are serial killers though that were apparently good looking. Like women simp for them when they got locked up. So yeah, 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 yeah. But like, you met like if Destiny like wasn't the streamer he was, and like he was like had a whole bunch of like you know pictures of girls all around his room and like dolls of like hot girls. I think people would like legitimately have like they'd you'd be like FBI rated, but because like <laughs> I'm like a little bit more like I guess cute, I guess I can get away with it a little bit. <laughs> yeah, well, sense. I think it's just that you're self aware. Like you, you I'm, know, I'm you seem to know what you're all about, and I appreciate that. Yeah, but other people don't know that. Though. That's the that's the that's the niche. That's, that's the tricky thing. part. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah, but that's but when I start doing stuff like this, it kind of gets out the mystery. So right, right. Like, which is why I was like, kinda, like, I don't know if I want to do this bit because like I kind of like people just thinking I'm. You're you're not worried that this will like come around and bite you in the ass or like the Tinder so, streams or anything like that will like fuck you over big time. I was legitimately thinking so. I was thinking of this uh for the last like four days. I was like, okay, so this is actually really funny because like the girls are coming in here and I'm making them very uncomfortable and like I'm thinking about progressively making it more and more and more like uncomfortable for women. But like the thing is, what's gonna happen is one day, one day, someone's gonna just like. Puma might make a twit longer about me. Might. Like, I'm joking about it now. And I'm like, oh, like, do you know what a twit longer is? Blah, 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 blah. But like, one day that might happen. And like, I don't know if I would be able to ever defend myself. No matter if I have all the facts on my side, because of the content I do, would I even have an ounce of the ability to like defend myself? So that's something I got to think into. Um, yeah, you're, you're making it a lot more difficult for yourself if, God forbid, something like that happens, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's why I'm trying to think, like, okay, like, I have, like, rapport with, between people. Like, I know there's people that would vouch for me. You know what I mean? If that ever happened. And I know that I have, like, the screenshots on, like, stuff that I do with, like, people. If I'm ever being, like, actually sexual with someone, I'm pretty, like, I've learned from my daddy. You know, Steven, you know, screenshot everything, uh, record most things, make sure you have every, all the proof you need, do all that stuff. Um, so I have all the shit that I needed, like fucking, there's one girl who I was on a Twitch stream and she decided to say that like, I was really mad, uh, because we didn't fuck or whatever. And like, I had screenshots and everything showing that that wasn't true. Cause I made sure that like, you know, all, all, all my sexual partners that I have, like all my shit relatively like in a, in a hole. Um, cause like, I understand that like, if I, especially if I'm fucking with all my chicks that like, if I'm, if I'm pers like putting myself out there as like a weird guy, I got to make sure that like people know if i ever do actually decide to engage sexually with someone it's not like yeah. you know like especially with the uh, community you're in it almost feels like every other girl in that community is trying to uh defame a guy in some sort of situation um and like the dgg community like the lab like lav uh, oh, like, oh yeah. okay yeah i mean like yeah there's like randomly psychopath girls or whatever like i, I talked to anna vore for a little bit but it wasn't like anything sexual but like and i involved myself with those people willingly because i just don't like I fucking I and I do and I do a lot because like I 
relatively know what it's like to be like a fucking weird person or whatever and like i you know i've made people think that like you're you know you're chill or whatever so I'll, like i'll go and reach out to these people just try to talk to them normally but like i don't really do like um like i'm not gonna like 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 if i'm ever gonna be sexual with any of these people like um i'll make sure that like every interaction i have is like within some sort of consent uh mm-hmm. thing that i can like have like on hand in case anything happens so yeah it, it is yeah because steven involves himself around a lot of like women that are wild wild so yeah so, and if i'm just like always in his orbit then like and i start attaching myself to these women then like you know you know how it goes yeah they're gonna come yeah yeah <laughs> uh, it'll, it'll eventually it'll eventually reach that point i did want to ask though uh you're so when you're publicly like simping for sh- cherry it's like a joke right it's like all a joke or are you like actually trying to get with this woman i don't kiss and tell bro well. <laughs> like let's be real here <laughs> she can't, bro. well no. i i kind of have a question about something you were mentioning before you talked about how like uh you um you appreciate or you wanted to like make girls feel uncomfortable i guess like my question is i guess where is the line for you is there is there a line like how far are you yes, going to, go to make that, a girl feel uncomfortable because that, some girls out here like they ain't got no shame so it's like what you know yeah. what happens if you find somebody who's just willing to push the line so that's what I'm trying to really figure out right now. It's like inviting. So what I'm doing, I don't know if any of you watch my streams currently, but like I'm getting people from Tinder that are local and like bringing them over here. And it's like way more like the vibes, you know, what is okay is like so much different than if I invited someone that was also Twitch affiliated. Um, yeah. So which is why I've, I'm thinking like maybe I move to Austin might be my vibe because like a lot of people are there, uh, especially if I move over to like the Round Rock area where all the streamers live. Um, a lot of people that live over there that would be willing to come on the stream probably are going to know like twitch in and out um like yesterday this girl i'm pretty sure i think she, i'm pretty sure what happened was like we, we got her an uber to come all the way over here we had like 40 bucks that people donate like 100 bucks to get her over um and she got an uber got all the way over here and then just got nervous and went back home um and like while she was in the uber she just like started crying in the uber and then the guy took her back home and it was like i was like oh shit like that's fucking traumatic but um, I wasn't, like, trying to make her uncomfortable or anything like that. I guess, like, with my stream I was. But, like, I was, during my stream, like, I was messaging her, like, hey, make sure you're, I hope you're safe. Like, hope things are good. Like, da 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 um, I think on stream, the boundaries, what I'm trying to have is, like, one where it's, like, I can, I'm trying to use my social awareness. And, and like, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to see what, like, what can, like, get away. I'm judging by facial expressions and, like, what so how someone's body language is. Like, yesterday, we got a girl to come over and, like, I put on like birthday sex by Akon and I took my shirt off and I waited for her to come in and immediately she was like, well, this is awkward. Uh, and I was like, <laughs> and I, was like and I was like, okay, like maybe she, okay. Like, I think like, I think there's like girls that will come in there when that's happening and they'll be like, oh shit. And then they'll like jam out with me and they'll like pretend like they'll like do the bit. Yeah. Um, but then when someone starts like immediately like freezing up and not knowing what to do, that's when it's like, okay, let's, 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 let's like, let's chill. Okay, um, so you could you could tell when things are like getting too far, and you could tell based on how yeah, acting. yeah, and then based on just like that al- action alone, like okay, you don't like my shirt off, okay, you're probably not gonna like any sort of like physical contact. Okay, so, so you go to the line and then you stop. Yeah, 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 okay. and then I'll stop, and then I'll I'll try to I'll vibe check like what beyond that line I can do because like because like the the line <laughs> of like the line the li- what the line is like I want to be as close to the line as possible to be quite honest when I'm doing content on stream. So like sure, if the sure. line is like my shirt's off. I'm like, okay, well, like, like, like what I would prefer is the line be like me dry humping you. You know what I mean? Because like that's more funny on stream. That's but like the line is like all the way far to like where like my shirt's off and like you don't want to like like it feels sexual to you. So it's like I'll just like I'll say like okay like you know maybe we can hold hands or something like that. You know like I'll just try to like be as close as possible to that to that line. And then like as as I keep getting denied. Then I'll just get further back, further back, further back until I realize that no contact can be made here. And then I'm like, okay, well, let's just like do like a talk here. And like, and, it, and it's really good that I have a relevant with me because he's really into like the talking aspect of things, whereas I'm just trying to like be as rambunctious as possible. All right, fair enough. I gotta ask, who, is somebody cutting their nails? Like I hear, like I hear a nail clipper going. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm cutting my toenails. Oh, okay. Thanks. No <laughs> I, was, I was wondering what the hell that was. Okay, <laughs> I'm glad I, I thought I was the only one that heard that for a minute. Yeah, no, I was fucking around with my. Uh, I've been. Uh, I scratched this girl with a toe like two days ago when we were sleeping together, and I cut her leg. She was like bleeding in my bed. So I was like, oh, okay, shit, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. No, my toenails are pretty dangerous. You want to see them? Yeah, put them up. 
Did you actually? I said you yeah, put him up. You, 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 you asked. <laughs> you, you offered. Yeah. <laughs> you offered. <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, <laughs> can I take a picture for the podcast? Like, <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> the Rizzler. Let's go. The Rizzler. I'll be honest. They're in my carpet. I don't want to look down there. You can see the t- wait. Oh gosh, am I duck here? Yeah, I have a scab on my dick. I was gonna post on my Discord today just to see if like anybody could tell what it was. But <laughs> we- oh. oh shit. What the fuck is going on? Oh. What is going on? What's up, man? What's up, man? What's up, What's going on? Why is he showing me? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. It was almost there. There it is. There you go. Nicely cool. trimmed. Nicely trimmed. So, nicely trimmed. Nicely trimmed. Nicely. So for con- for context, uh, Matt, Matt context. stepped away for two seconds, uh, and that's why he's acting so gg i mean well hey I, you know do you know if your feet are on a uh, foot wiki yet um i don't know but i did see that i am i've been posting on steven's kiwi farms with like my full docs and like it was like oh shit that was that was actually crazy they called me a trans n-word i thought that was pretty fucking funny <laughs> what, <laughs> what? <laughs> so kiwi's far kiwi farms called you a trans n-word yeah, that's amazing that oh my god that's about the only place i know i am on like some any sort of like weird message board with like <laughs> shit bro what the fuck uh yeah. um i was gonna ask did you you did you recently get unbanned from twitch yeah i got unbanned about like a week ago and then um what, what'd you get banned for I got banned originally, so my first big ban was two years ago, and that ban was for tattooing myself and like screaming in pain. I was just doing a joke. I wasn't trying to. I was uh, actually in pain. I just wanted to, you know, uh, I thought it'd be funny if I was like, "Oh, guys, I'm in pain," but it wasn't. Um, so I got banned for like almost a year there, and then I got unbanned. Uh, I didn't start streaming till like four months after, and then I got banned like maybe two weeks after I started streaming again for um, saying I was rapping. <laughs> I was just. <laughs> I was listening to Blueface, and I rapped uh, the N word, the soft A, not even the hard R, and I got banned uh, for uh, racism. And uh, I made like a tweet uh, about like how it's pretty weird that you know I'm half black and I can't say nigga. Um, so they uh, they were they took off my ban, but then the next day I watched this video. It's a very old. Uh, so I think we hear black. Uh, Diesel, are you black? No, Diesel's I'm, I'm Puerto, Puerto Rican. Rican, but that happens all the time. So you know, you get used to it. I'm black <laughs> some days, Italian others, and then white another day. Well, I didn't, I didn't know, bro. With Matt Pitt, <laughs> are you black? Are you black? Uh, yeah, no, I think we're all not black here. Not black. Okay, well, like yeah. in the black community, back in like, well, this is 15 year old video. So there's, okay, do you know the Grind on Me Vine Challenge? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it was like the Grind on Me Vine Challenge existed, but there's something else that I really, uh, that the the black community used to do, which was for Pretty Ricky's late night special. I put us in now rec room. It was just like, what would happen is, so my brother used to do this all the time with his boys. They would invite his gang member uh, friends from high school over, and they would like start dry humping our couches and shit and they would record it for facebook because it was like i guess it was like a thirst trap but it was like I, I don't know what it was but they would listen to this song which is i don't know if you guys i don't know if you click the video and they, yeah, would, yeah, just, yeah. they would just hump the like the ottomans and jump hump the couches for like f- like 15 minutes and i thought it was so right. fun and i remembered it after my band because it was like and I, and I showed it on stream and you know, apparently it's dry humping so it's not so damn yeah uh, and how long were you how long were you banned for I was banned until recently, so for that, so yeah. Well, when when were you banned? Like what year? Uh, that, would, that would have been back in like maybe like May of last year. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. gotcha. Yeah, so and so, while. so you get unbanned, and now you're back. Were, were you streaming anywhere else besides Twitch when you were banned? I, I tried YouTube, and like the thing is, like I was at my fiance and shit, and so and I'm like I was like 25, so I'm like I don't know if I want to like try to build everything relatively that i did i spent a lot of time on my twitch and like all that shit and yeah i don't know the idea of like building everything again just wasn't like fun especially with like the shit i had to deal with like every day with my like, bills and like my fiance and like getting a dog and shit it was like mm-hmm. it just wasn't like uh, on my priority list was uh calling into destiny stream was was that a way to stay a little active to stay it was into a way, it was a way yeah it was legit it's probably like a good way to like keep me like uh coming in and out 
uh and like just in case i ever got unbanned because i always had a uh, idea like when i did get unbanned i just start doing content again yeah um because like when i originally moved to to arizona the whole the whole purpose was for content creation and doing being in a more like college area and doing a lot more of the shit that i'm doing right now um but i never got that chance because of the the bands and everything so i was like if i'm here i might as well just keep doing it until like i'm completely out of the game i guess right gotcha chris you got something um no, he's he's answered everything. You you're well, you're an open I, book, dude. I, I, I do wanna we don't have to press on this if you don't want to, Darius, because uh sure. I know this was like a trying time for you with your fiance and stuff like that. Um, but you know, you you've brought her up a couple of times now. And uh there was that whole video where she that I think it was you that posted that Dirt. where she was going like super psycho and like threatening you and all that. Dirt. So <laughs> what what were were you guys together for like a while was it like a creator couple thing yeah, we were we were engaged so we knew each other for like four years uh like i guess from now we knew each other for like four or five years and then uh we didn't get together we've always like flirted and like talkative like in romantic ways until like i moved to arizona then when i moved to arizona she had some personal shit happen and then she ended up just moving in with me um and then when she moved in with me we like each other a lot and then we just started dating and then eventually got engaged um and then we started a life but uh we shouldn't have probably done that because probably wasn't smart uh with what we both were trying to do because she was doing her only fan sex work shit and also like networking with like people in austin and shit and probably would have not have just been it's just not good to like settle down with a guy like when you're uh when you're trying to be in like when you're a, especially if you're a female in the uh twitch sphere because like guys don't really like that at all yeah um but we we were never like a like an online like a creator couple or whatever we like actually didn't really care about each other and love each other blah 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 blah. but um we just had some like a lot of person a lot of like really dumb shit happen throughout like all our relationship we were, we tried a lot of stuff it kind of relates to being poly and like talking to other people but there's like polyamorous relationships are like i don't think our open relationships they're not like fucking dumb but it's like a lot of people are just like so even and this even goes with me like people are like it's hard to tell the truth like all the time like when like let's say you're talking to like somebody like let's say you have a coworker and you're really vibing off and like you go back home and you go talk to your wife uh and, like you know that your wife kind of has like a little bit of an issue with like you talking to girls so you meet a new you t- kind of tell her like oh i met this new coworker and that's it and i was like i met this new coworker. they were okay and you don't really go into detail but in reality you like really like them and you thought it was they were like really enjoying the time but you didn't want to like make them nervous type shit you know what i'm trying to say yeah mm. like and that's how a lot of like our relationship was with her um and i don't know she kind of like to, to be fair we like we both had issues but like i don't know our breakup was like really weird and during the time that like i was gonna get a restraining order and order on her and all that shit like there's this like ghetto ass girl i had over i'll be i'll be just straight with it I had this ghetto ass girl over, and she was like, they were both like threatening to beat each other up. It was a whole fucking thing. We've talked about things. It was like, I don't know, dude. The, I, I've like, I've grown up like African American communities my, my entire life, and like, I, I don't know. When these girls started like, they were like doing shit where they were like, you know how girls like pull up their pants all the way to like their belly button, and they started pulling their hair up and like putting them in a bun or whatever. Like, they were like trying to like, I, I, I got some like reminiscence back to those times, and like, I was fucking scared shitless or whatever. And I don't know, I was fucking pretty traumatized by it. And not traumatized by it, but like in a way it's like uh like I don't get what I'm trying to fucking say right now. What am I trying to say? What I'm trying to say is is that shit was pretty bad during that time for her and me. And because of a lot of our issues that we had, I ended up uh kind of like posting it online because I felt like there was no other shit to do I, I over time i regret it like even today I, like right now at this moment i regret kind of putting it online because like i don't know i don't feel like it really got me too much it got me like the like the sympathy i wanted i think and not sympathy i guess oh god it sounds so bad but like the like you want to say like, like attention more, more not, not even attention but it's like it's like uh, like me and her had a relationship where like legit like i ended up like losing a lot of my friends afterwards like a lot of my friends uh during that relationship i stopped talking to and like i didn't really have anybody to like voices to and like the idea of like going into like each and every one of my friends dms and like saying like hey dude like i'm going through some like 
intense shit. Can we like talk? Just sounded so pathetic to me versus like just like putting on blast this bitch that like wronged me. You know what I mean? Like right. it, it sounded way more of like a masculine or more of a like like a like a just thing than like settling things alone. Uh, I guess if that's what I'm trying to say right now. I really don't know how to fucking word it, but I guess this this that's the best way I can. So I decided to just post it online and then I was like, okay, fuck this shit, guys. Like everyone fucker. Um and it didn't really result in good things to be quite honest. She kinda got a lot of really bad press for that. Uh probably deserved to be quite honest. She was back acting crazy. But she got a lot of bad press for that and uh, I kinda get reminded of it like a lot. Uh but it's also like to be fair, like my content is centered around like a lot of the shit that I do in my life and like the way like I don't know if you guys I guess you guys fuck around with locals and shit. You guys know about like Ice Poseidon and everything. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay, like I, I framed a lot of my content to like how involved my community is to how early Ice Poseidon was back when he if you guys know do you guys remember Courtney Smoke or whatever? Or I think so. or, or Courtney I remember the he was like this girl, they used to call her Alien. Right. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah I, I think so. Okay, similar to how he interacted with her during that time. So I I don't know if like I was like getting rid of her in my life during that time and I was like whatever I was like okay this is like more of a funny thing like fuck it I don't care um, type vibe I don't know if that answers the question at all is that no, that, that definitely uh, it does answer the question oh man I got a voice crack God but no yeah that answers it um, I mean you know that whole situation I don't think you did anything wrong I mean I get having like personal comeuppance but we cover a lot of drama and um yeah you know a lot of personal stuff gets aired from people you know and i i think you putting that up publicly at least put it in a position where she couldn't have turned it around on you yeah and, like made you look like a bad person yeah i noticed that um i i don't, I don't know i don't think she does this to this day but like i noticed one big thing a lot of like twitch women do is like once they have like an issue with like any other other creator um especially if like i'm working in like their relative sphere they like word, word gets around like so much about like each other everybody <laughs> about everybody um like if x girl i'm fucking with like just has a fall off with me everyone in that like relative sphere is going to know about it in some way way or another because like all these people have like okay maybe i'm just being like way too fucking rude but like a lot of people have like nothing going on in their lives and their relationships with other people they'll just like start trauma dumping like I, i'll be honest i fucking do that shit too i drama dump about shit but i i don't know i don't like randomly go talk about like how x person you know fuck me over and i'll just tell that to like a other group of people so that way they can like hate them but like a lot of people do shit maliciously and i'll be honest i felt like my ex at that time uh was definitely doing that um and i i i, I still to this day think she was um and there's there's definitely like other people <clears throat> there's definitely other people um in the uh online sphere that do that shit as well um and i just i don't know it just like i have like a weird like um i guess i have a weird fucking like not ptsd but i have a, a weird assumption of a lot of streamers uh so i don't like I, I that's probably why also i don't like fuck around with people sexually like after like the bits it's probably because like i know if anything does go really bad with them that shit's gonna be like, like I'm not just, I'm not just gonna be fighting with one person. I'm gonna be fighting with like one person and their entire crew that they decide to get against me or whatever. If that makes sense. Yeah, I feel you. I get it. it. Seems like Twitch, Twitch hierarchy is usually what I call it. it. Just has like clicks and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's like this thing with like like if I let's say I, I get a fucking fight with Casey Tron, I'm not just fighting or just a Minx. I'm not just fighting with just a Minx. I'm fighting with Cutie Cinderella. I'm fighting with fucking Ludwig. Like fucking everyone else. Like everyone in that relative sphere. So like if like I'm fucking around with like uh, I don't want to give like fucking actual names, but like I don't know. Like I I just don't want to. I don't know. It's just it's just like. The hierarchy thing is just seems it seems very like high school lunch tabley, and I really don't fucking I really don't like that shit. Yeah, well, yeah. I was about to say because this this community in particular, like the commentary community, and kind of like the now recording guys and everything, like we've talked about the Twitch community before. Yeah. Has any of them like ever seen? Do you have you ever heard anything about how they're perceived outside of their bubbles? Like, has anyone like bitched and moaned about like the coverage that they've gotten before or anything like that? Like, do you mean like? like other streamers talking about how other people just like like yeah like an example is kind of like how you know how people have been covering the justin ming stuff or maybe the miscus stuff that happened back then um i think that what i think a lot of the people that i fucked with like were heavily in like steven's community and a lot of those people are like 
they, they fucking hate like the like the Austin streamers, all that shit. So anytime they get like relatively any sort of press, and it's like even if it's like a little bit bad, they're always like, okay, they fucking stuck. But if they get like good, like I've heard people that like like I've, I've talked to people from Steven's community that have like had issues with like Will Neff, and they've got like, Will Neff got like uh, once he got signed to like a hundred thieves or whatever, they went on like hour long rants about how evil of a person Will Neff was, and like how they are like, oh, this guy's a fucking piece of shit, blah 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 blah, and they're like, oh, why is he getting such good press? So bad press usually it's if it's about like anyone from Austin or any of that shit. Generally, it's like I'm hearing good shit from my friends, but if it's anything good about these people from Austin, I'm usually I'm usually hearing like them just rant about how they shouldn't they don't deserve it or some like weird shit. Yeah, which is like again, which I also I also think is bad too. But I mean like. To be fair though, I I fucking I might just be a hater as well, but like I think a lot of people in the Austin sphere are like fucking like annoying would as you, fuck. Would so. you just say that everyone's kind of like petty? Um, I, I I think so for sure. I think I think I because I've like grew up really poor. Like when I was streaming and I was able to make like I think I make like three to five grand a month. Like I was like, this is like the most money I've ever seen in my life, and this like feels incredibly good. And like the idea of like having like being mad at someone else for like like because they like didn't like retweet something or like being mad at someone else because like uh they liked a video that was like like waiting well, on like, you or something it, yeah, yeah. Like, i don't know it just seems like so dumb and so like i don't know it seems so lame like i get I, but if, but again though i i've made a lot of my content based around like uh like hating on me so i maybe i'm just like talking from like inexperience and maybe i'd change my mind if like like somebody else like actually you know like somebody like like I, like mr mooten Sorry, I'm like naming names. This is so fucking cringe. Like, Mr. Moon is like actually called me like a creepy, like really weird fucking guy, and he thinks like I'm actually gonna hurt a woman at some point. And that did genuinely fucking bother me. Um, and I like I messaged him about it, and like I've reached out to him to talk about shit. Uh, so maybe if I was, but it's like I don't know. That's like a direct thing of like character, like a direct attack of character versus like what a lot of this other drama is with other people, which is like a person of a person of a person said something about you, and you're upset about that. Right. Right. I, I did want to ask, um, is it surreal? It's, you said you've been watching Je Destiny since Justin TV, and now you're on like a friendly basis with him. How surreal yeah. is that for you? It's really, fu it's really fucking weird. I like, I thought about that, like, I think like a week ago, uh, or like two weeks ago. I was like, the fact that I could just kind of like pop into this guy's like, my, no, my legitimately, my, so my five year long ex wanted to fucking kill me because I would watch Steven for like hours. Um, and I would like have him on at night, shit like that. I was like, so I was par super parasocial, but like yeah. she, used to, she used to be like so fucking mad. Like she would like, we got, we got like separate, we got a two bedroom apartment for the next place we moved into because I would listen to it in the room and she'd be like, I don't want to hear that shit. You have to get your own room. Um, so I got my own room because of it. And like, I don't know, she, I was, it was like, it was just weird. Cause like, I, um, uh, I don't know. I like, I never, I never, I never viewed myself as doing inter I'm, i always been like a very shy person like in high school i never had like i, I really didn't have any friends um i like willing i was like super hardcore uh built on this like idea i, I was like I, I grew up with like a father and like a whole bunch of other like figures in my life so like i started watching um anime and like my only like figure like my icon to be was like sasuke uchiha so i'd be in like high school and I'd be like oh. trying to LARP as like Sasuke, like at the fucking like cafeteria lunches. Oh, you were one of those guys. Okay, like legitimately, like, legitimately, like I got, <laughs> I, I got told when I got a job. When I was eighteen, I got a job, and some guy that was from my high school talked to me and like, dude, we thought you were gonna actually shoot up the place. Like we just, like, I thought, I thought in my head, I was like, dude, I look so cool and mysterious, but it actually, everyone just thought I was autistic. So <laughs> fireball jutsu. Yeah, like no yeah. shit. No, I used to sit in there. Oh, I'm gonna camera off for like one second. Oh wait, is this working? Okay, I was I would sit in there at the table like this, like unironically every day. Every day. <laughs> like it was like, it was, it was, it was like oh, I knew I knew I that the, kid. I knew yeah, that kid. Nice awesome. thumb. Thumb, I want that for a thumbnail. Yeah, <laughs> I got it. Look, I, I, is it okay that I took a picture? I don't give a fuck. But right, cool. So it was like every day I would sit there and just do that shit. And it was like I don't know, people just saw I was like and I had like crazy emo hair and like I don't know I was super into scene shit. So I don't know. It was like uh. It was very, it's very surreal that now, like, everything in general, like, the fact that I'm interacting with Steven, the fact that I'm able to interact with people and, like, such a, like, a, like, I'm able to have just, like, even chicks, I guess people in general just coming out of my house. I live, like, in a college area and I'm actively going to clubs and bars. Um, like, and this is only, like, the last, like, three years of my life, so it all feels like, I don't know, it all feels pretty weird. I got engaged, like, that's fucking weird as fuck. Like, I, didn't, I thought I was gonna, like, die before I was, like, 21. So this is all like, like every time I like think about like the position I'm in right now, 
Um, even if it's not like the best position in the world, it's like it's always really uh, uh, surreal to think about for me. That's good, man. I, I, I yeah. did want to ask because our, our community and everyone in this call knows what um, I'm talking about. Our community has an incel problem. And uh, we 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 really need like somebody to give the incels the advice that listen to this podcast. What what would you be? What would you give <laughs> as the best advice to help these people? Please to, God to help get them. to get pussy. Legitimately, like I want to say, be yourself. But like, there's so many chicks these last like uh, last like three months I've been talking to that have like showed me these. Like, there's this one girl. I wish I had it on hand because I sh I should have had her just send me the video where this guy like sent her a voicemail and said like hey i'm breaking things off with you and the reason was because like she didn't believe that like asians were genetically inferior to like to white people and that black people were like probably the lowest race and it was like i wasn't i thought it was like joking but it's like unironic some weird like racial iq like fucking shit what going on but like, what like, is this going? Like, but like being what? yourself doesn't really, like, if, th if that's generally yourself maybe just don't be that way and like a lot of people okay. that are like car guys like legit don't get girls so like if you're legitimately looking to have sex with a girl like i don't know just like i, tr I try to learn how to nag i don't i really so what you're saying is if you're evil you should lie like maybe legit legit like if you're somebody <laughs> like if you just want to have sex maybe just like tr look at the personalities of people that are like adam like watch adam sandler movies and just like copy his like wait what yeah, yeah watch, watch really like, yeah watch big dad like 50 first dates actually no, that's no, not like, bad no, like legitimately, like copy his personality because girls find that very endearing. And if you're like a charming or like even a decent looking guy, like that, that stuff will work over time. Um, and also just be just be fucking like when you're going to like, like I'm trying to figure this out with Irrelevant right now because like I, I realize that Relevant, I don't know if you guys know who Irrelevant is, yeah. but like he's good looking. Like he's not a bad looking guy. He just doesn't know how to have sex. So like I'm trying to just like say like, to, like if you want to like do something, just like be forward. Just like just say what your intentions are and like. It'll, it'll you'll miss maybe sometimes but like it'll definitely it'll land eventually and that's really all that fucking matters to be quite honest like if the girl's already there and she's already hanging out with you and she's already tolerating you if you just shoot your shot i mean like it'll, it'll probably land hell yeah i think yeah i i well that, i think that's good advice just be like adam sandler i got i got that you like adam sandler all ironically yeah. like yeah legit, legit legit like well, Nikki I, adam sandler or no, like big, big daddy, big daddy Adam Sandler's probably yeah. okay. All right. Like he's like he's like quirky. He's kind of like a little romantic, but he's yeah. like he's like kind of a piece of shit. Like actually, though, yeah, it has like, like a dark side. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Like so, if you feel like you can't do that, just try to be like quirky with girls and like try to just charm them by pure jokes. And then, like yeah. then, whenever you want to actually have sex, just ask, and then don't mention anything about your personal life. It'll work. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, Corey, you had a question. Yeah, so I, I, it's a two-part question. Um, well, how did you find Nicholas Diorio? And uh, the second part to that is, are you aware of the commentary community slash drama sphere, and to what what extent? I guess. So the the what what I understand about you guys relatively, and what I've kind of because I've been invited to some, uh, what the fuck is that show? It's like a battle royale that a Keemstar's editor hosted. Keemstar. Oh, editor. are you talking about uh, Fireball? Yes. So I've invited the fireball and like I I what I know about the commentary and relative to you guys is just like that it's like a a Jason of Keemstar, it's a Jason of a Keemstar's something that's adjacent of that, and it's adjacent of that. And it's like you guys are all relatively in like some like some bubble. That's kind of what I know, at least. I don't really know too much about it at all. I'll be I'll be for real. And um, then what about Nicholas Diorio? I know Nicholas Diorio because I watched him do a call with like uh Keffels and Keemstar and I skipped I'll be honest I tweeted at him and I told him to call him a bitch because I thought he was being like like he was just like shooting the shit with her when I he was talking mad shit on Twitter I was like this guy's just a pussy like if you hate her like if you want to talk shit to her just talk to shit to her to her face but then I realized later he did it and he corrected me and I was like okay my bad G but, <laughs> honestly, yeah, when, you, when you were watching did you think that uh keem and keffels were having like a good rapport good back yes i, I did the whole time that's why I, was, I was like okay because I, I watched it and i saw keem giving like a lot of like just like shooting the shit doing jokes and then i saw fucking nicholas like laughing with them and i was like okay you guys must all be friends or something like don't fucking sit here and like pretend all that you guys hate each other and then just dick ride each other every time you're gonna call but then uh he said later on he did it and then i clicked through and i realized it was just my adhd like geeking out i was being a reactionary yeah. So, but but Keemstar is still a piece of shit. Keemstar is definitely sucking her dick. 
I'm sorry. I, well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I can uh, say that everybody in the commentary community is Keemstar adjacent. Uh, yeah, it's definitely more. It's more laxed in the most recent years, but I don't think everybody. We've has. all had interactions with Keemstar. So yeah, I mean, yeah. he's my dad. <laughs> Some more so. than others. Yeah, yeah, I don't think you guys are like like you guys are like like a byproduct or him or whatever. But I'm like I, I you guys are like. But that's what I. Whenever I hear about this stuff, or I hear about anything ugh, from you guys, this is my bad. Um, it's usually because of. It's usually because it's like a off shoot of that. Like Nicholas Diorio, I assume it's like directly related to Keemstar in some way. Some way, um, it, it's like a cha- it's like an ecosystem, and it kind of like and yeah. kind of Keemstar is on top when it comes to that. Yeah, yeah. That how we well, came about. Yeah, which is what well, I was like. Oh, go ahead. Good. No, I was gonna say Diesel. Diesel was, was insulted by Keemstar recently because he's he's <laughs> not a, he's not relevant enough to box uh, uh, somebody. So. <laughs> oh shit! Were you gonna? Well, I I saw that FPS Diesel followed me recently, and I was like, I I know that name so well. And I remember because you, you did a video a long time ago, or whatever. You did like not a long time ago, but you did something. I that you I follow him back. He's pretty cool. Why, why are all these people with Riz the people that watched me in the past, man? Why like, everybody everybody gets laid mad crazy that used to watch me? I think there's a correlation <laughs> there. I mean, you can get you can get laid too. I'm sure. I'm sure you get mad laid. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, he likes to. Uh, oh, hold on, Darius. I I get action, okay? You get action? Oh, okay. Yeah. They don't call him Diesel. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Fucking Schnickel Bottom the Goblin. He is like a Diesel, so I figured you're like super Chris, jacked. I don't want to hear anything about Riz with you, all right? You, you uh, can take the titty shot. Bro, all right? well, I avoided a whole allegation against me. Shit, <laughs> like, I, I did good shit. Okay. Yeah, Darius, the thing that. Or, or for me and Chris, the thing that really interested us about you is like just the fact that you're able to pull so consistently and then do it on stream. I, I don't know. It just really stood out as different to us, and yeah. like how you how quirked up you were the whole time. You know, it just, <laughs> it's the best way to describe. Yeah, it. no, I legit like because I'll be honest. I'm like on my stream. I'm not being like 100 percent of who I am. Like, but I in in a uh, off camera. Like, even when I'm, like, trying to raise up a girl, like, not to be, like, super, like, I'm not trying to get, like, pity sex or whatever, but, like, being genuine, like, talking about a lot of shit in my life and just saying it, like, a, like you know, shit happens. Like, not trying to make people, like, feel, like, like pity towards me, but, like, kind of just, like, being real and, like, talking about shit. Like, I don't know. Girls seem to like that a lot. Uh, I, I don't know. And, like, on stream, like, I don't have to, like, even if I can be, like, all quirked up and I can talk about, like, uh, like, the, I, like, it's just, like, people feel like, if I was actually going up to girls and saying, like, give me your number and like actually like forcefully like putting my finger on their chest or whatever or like on their sorry their chin and like lifting them up i yeah. feel like i would get like sexual harassment charge but Probably. because of the fact that i'm like doing it with people that i have this rapport with where like I, they can tell i'm just like quirky as fuck and like i'm just gonna it's like expected for me to do random shit you know what i mean so like and it makes people feel i don't know like way more comfortable um which is why i also say like adam like not to like say it again but like adam sandler Riz is like a real thing. It is a fucking yeah. real thing. Um, there's probably a different actor I can use that's better, but it's just like I think that's the perfect actor. If I'm being honest with you, yeah, I think yeah. so. Because like the way I think the way he acts, and like I, I'm gonna use the example of Big Daddy again, where it's like yeah. it's just like like in, it's endearing how fucking like pathetic this guy is. <laughs> so that's what I'm trying to say, I, I, movie, I, I, I take a lot. I take Wedding Singer Adam Sandler over Big yeah, Daddy Adam Sandler. Sandler. Yeah. I think that that's good. One, I think yeah. that's the epitome of like Riz Adam Sandler for sure. Can yeah, we all be watch. different Adam Sandlers for the thumbnail, please? <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> please, no, that's gonna work. Well, I'll oh, put Adam Sandler work. in the thumbnail. There we go. Yeah, that works. that's a good one. Yeah, I'll be Uncut yeah. Gems one. <laughs> <laughs> that one didn't work out for him. That the Riz kind of fell off at the end. Yeah, true. The Riz, <laughs> the Riz was tough. <laughs> that was some, that was some serious Riz up until the end. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't gotten to the end yet. Ah, so. uh, well, oh, so, well, uh, well, well. <laughs> well <laughs> uh, it do, it doesn't end too well for Adam Sandler's character. Well, no, no, no. I mean, like, no, in real life, I haven't got to the end yet. So you never oh. know. Like, I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. Like, maybe, like, I do actually make someone... I don't think I'm going to make someone... A, I do generally think I'm, like, a very, like... I, like I've i been told by, like, a bunch of people that, like, I'm very, like, com- comforting, carry consenting, very whatever. So, like, I'm just taking what they say and I'm taking that to my heart. But, like, there may be one day where, like, I go ahead and, like, let's say I bring someone on stream and I decide to take my shirt off and, like, they actually genuinely do feel really bad about it enough to, like, make a twit longer about me or something. They're like, oh, like, that was really bad. Like, like and I maybe, like, shiver. 
when he did that or whatever. Like, you know what I mean? Like that could happen. That could be full Adam Sandler and, and my career could just right. go down better. So you yeah. never talk about Well, that. I'll tell you this. Uh, your platform's way bigger than ours, but if you can find yourself into some fucked up situation where that's happening, we'll gladly have you on to defend yourself if you need us. Like, yeah, we'll definitely. Yeah, 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 as long as you're being Adam Sandler and not Louis C.K. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, I don't think I'm going to be drunk. Yeah. I thought it'd be like, I thought it'd be like a good thing because I don't know what's allowed on kick, but like I thought it'd be like a good thing. Like if I can get someone to like consent to it for like, you know, okay. Have you guys heard about the discord train? That's never a good phrase, by the way, Darius. If I can just get someone to consent to it, we'd be okay. You know what a discord train is? No. A discord train. What is that? Choo choo. Okay. So what we're trying to do is trying to create this new concept, which I think I, I've, I've joked about it a lot, but I think it would be like, I think it'd do killer, right? I get my subs. I get my subs, and we get one girl. Okay, do you know what a real train is? Like, you run a train on a yeah, girl? Yeah, running on a train yeah, on a girl, yeah. yes. Okay, just imagine it on Discord where there's one channel where there's one girl in, and she's on cam, and usually she's naked. And then there's, like, I don't know if you've ever seen people have e-sex before, but what will happen is we'll have a <laughs> line of guys in, like, a general waiting lobby or something, and then we'll just, like, move them in with, like, a moderator watching and making sure everything's, like, safe and good. And then they'll just come in there, and they'll kind of have, like, e-sex for a little bit, then we'll swap them out for another guy. I <laughs> Because the thing is, a lot I know there's a couple girls just because they do sex work that would be okay with doing that on Discord. So all I need to do is find the guys that are willing to get on cam and like moan into their mic. And I think, I think, I think, I don't know if that's a lot on kick though. That's the thing. So I, I just don't think ever doing e orgy. Say what? An e orgy. An e orgy. Yes, yeah, like pretty much just like an e orgy, but it's like, but we just call it a train because it's funny, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know if you can do that on Kick or not. You could probably do that on like a like a cam show or something. I don't know. You might That's want to so set lame, that up. Though. You probably That's do it on Storyfire now. I want to do a place where you're not expecting him to see it, so it has you, to be. You could just do it, or like you know, just set it up on a place you don't want to do, and then well, you could probably I, get banned from Twitch for doing that. I'll well, probably put it on Twitter. I, I can probably get it to happen, like, and then just yeah. post it on Twitter, and it'll probably do numbers. Yeah, I think. you gotta be ca- but, careful because Twitch will ban you from off platform shit. Yeah, so. yeah, 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 yeah. So I'll, 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 I, that's something. That's like an end game. Like when yeah. I'm really like done with life, like that's something maybe I'll do. But that's that'll be fucking fun as fuck. Like I would love. So there's a couple like I don't know how freaky you guys are, but there's a lot of sex servers on Discord, and they have those Discord trains for real, where they find the one <laughs> girl that's like really down. I. I added one of her, one of them, and I'm thinking about Messenger and like seeing if we can get something going. But like, there's girls that are freaky enough that I really have nothing going on in their life that will just sit there in the lobby and just wait for guys to come in and fuck. So, but they'll eat fuck when they're just like, oh, oh, oh. like it's it's crazy. It's actually crazy. You guys should look into yeah. it. Holy shit! Okay, <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. Like imagine like uh, okay. imagine like, all I mean, you guys enough, man. Something like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Nah, yeah. Yeah. King. That could be a podcast. We guys can go in like one by one and interview them or something. So how are you feeling right now? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, like a podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Before and after. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be fun. Oh, aftercare. One of you guys can be like the aftercare dude. Like, it'll be super cool. So how would you rate your experience on one to 10? That would be good. And then you guys can at the end go like, who, who gave the best discord head? It'd be it would legit. It would be, <laughs> the best discord head. Or who got, or who got the best. It'd be legit. How would that be evaluated? Uh, that I, she would have to decide. All right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Diesel's breathing so hard. Well, I, I think I think uh, you said you could only do an hour, Darius. I think we're going to end yeah. this on a high note. I greatly appreciate you coming on, man. Is there anything you want to say before I let you go? Like to uh, just no. tell the audience? I'm good. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I think. Right. Uh, I think do that. I just, if anyone's. Oh, shit. I just fucking accidentally clicked the link. Uh, uh, no, I don't. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, do you want to, like, what, what's your. You want to plug your stream real quick? Uh, no, I was going to say something about a relevant shit, but I'm like. Should I even promote a relevance Twitch? Twitch.tv slash irrelevant. A H R E L E V A N T. All his shit. Awesome. Well, uh, Darius, thanks for coming on, man. We greatly appreciate it. Glad we could finally hook up and do this thing. I know we've been trying to get you on for about a month now. And uh, yeah, I, will, yeah, yeah. I, I will say this. I think the reason why people are so uh, invested in you right now in the commentary community is because we want you to come to us. We want you to be in the commentary community, Darius. We want you to, you know, bring your personality over here. Yeah. You know, yeah, these guys are sexless weirdos. They need somebody to help them. <laughs> oh, oh my god, god. they're so repressed, dude. It's yeah. so bad. What my goal is legitimately is to find like a different like I need to extend to multiple other communities. And then what I my goal is is to do what I'm doing with Irrelevant right now. We're like we're on Tinder and we're getting girls to come over, but instead we're like using their Tinder profiles and we're just like linking the stream and doing stuff and seeing if we can just get them to come because like the thing is the girls the girls are just so attracted to like if, if it was just irrelevant on stream i don't think it would get any girls but the fact that not saying that, like i'm so beautiful but the fact that i'm there and it's like this guy's just a fucking weirdo and there's like normal people around him like i feel safe 
You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like I don't know. It's like unironically some uh, what's his name from It's Always Sunny? The uh, Charlie Day or is it Dennis? Dennis, yeah, there Dennis. Yeah, Dennis. It's like some Dennis shit. Like where like I like make girls feel like they are comfortable because of like there's nothing like I this guy's so. Fl- it's like being around like a homeless like a homeless guy with like a six four jacked guy. You're like you know this homeless guy's not gonna do anything to you because you got everyone else is so normal in comparison. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So so it's like we could do that something like that. I don't know if you, where do y'all live. The, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> like uh, I live in the South, I'll say that. Yeah, live in the South. Georgia. Okay, cool. If I'm ever in the South area, I go to North Carolina a lot. I don't know that counts. So maybe okay. I'll see you around and we can do an IRL stream. Fuck yeah, dude! I mean, I got one leg, so uh, I'll be able. Hey, like, you never. Uh, hey, listen, it works out. It works. Out. I'll tell you right now, girls. I- I've heard people, uh, fucking dudes in wheelchairs all the time. Okay, it's like fine. <laughs> It'll work out great. Well, Darius, I gotta say, I don't, I don't know you. Like, I don't truly know you, so I can't tell if you're a good guy or not. But I can say that you're a really interesting guy, and I really hope you succeed, man. Thank you, brother. Y'all as well. Y'all as well. Y'all have a good uh, Wednesday. Hell Thursday. yeah, man. Take it easy, buddy. Thanks, dude. Have a good night, man. That was amazing. Ooh, that wow. was amazing. Yo, that by was the amazing. way, by the way, shout out to Chris and Ark for calling him a lol cow while he had just came into oh, that was no. amazing. Oh my god, the timing oh could god. not have been better. Oh, okay. he definitely didn't hear it. He definitely no, he's he gonna he hear it. Listen, if he's listening care. to the podcast, he's gonna fucking hear listen, it. Listen, I made a whole yeah. stream already. <laughs> like, I, I don't care. I don't <laughs> give a listen, shit. By the way, you can only hear me breathing because I'm sick laughing. as fuck. No, nah, liar. <laughs> you were laughing. Did, so did That's, this did, that too? Did this exceed expectations? Uh, this did public- exceed. <laughs> okay, good, good. Did Daddy Matt do well? well Daddy, uh, Matt da- did well? Daddy Matt did well. But he, I, that. I, I am I am okay, actually so. really surprised that Darius is normal. I guess. It, yeah, I, I mean, had a feeling. I had a feeling like there was a part of me was thinking he's going to come in here and be completely normal and it's going to be a fucking boring interview. You know, nice. I was thinking that's but, what I was thinking. Was but, that like, normal? I no, mean, no, that's what that's the end of it. It's like that was not normal. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, it, it wasn't normal, but he wasn't like a fucking schizophrenic lunatic. He was just true, like a very bohemian true. guy. And I, yeah, I, I, I don't funny. know. I kind of like don't want to laugh at him. I kind of just enjoy yeah. what he's doing. I'm laughing I, I with him. Yeah, I'm laughing, I'm laughing with, him. with him. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm at that point now. After meeting him, I'm laughing with him. Yeah, I would say he's probably seventy percent the bit, thirty percent. I don't know, but you know, we'll see he's what gotta happens. He's got to be really careful about that line, though, because that—I uh, mean—that shit gets dangerous. Dude, if he gets canceled, we got to start defending him hardcore on our yeah. podcast. Like, you I'll don't understand. Darius. All right, <laughs> so Darius has one defender. I'm one of them. <laughs> Darius has no fans. That I am dead. That I'm, I'm his fan. <laughs> Core, are you yeah. there? Core, yeah. hello, Core. Is he, is he core core died. Destiny? This was so amazing. The irony Core's that Core is playing Destiny while we're talking to I uh, know the is. Adam Sandler thing made me fucking die. That was, I mean, good advice. Good yeah. advice. The yeah. Adam Sandler. Yeah. Why not? You know, fuck it. It works for Adam Sandler and all those movies. I mean, it, he's got to be doing something, right? When he said that, I was like, "That's actually an excellent point." But, but that's yeah, ex- yeah, like. Adam, Adam Sandler, Sandler always has Riz in all of his films. Yeah, and it's and it's more genuine Riz than like yeah. know, Tom Cruise or someone. Like, yeah, you know, like no, there. because he's always making fun of the guy that has that, like that is that kind of Riz. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's fair. All right. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. Shout out to our bad with money guys who are bad with money: Stefan Corbino, Brian, Mame, Twitter Geek. We say their names at the end of the podcast because they are bad with money. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe. All that other good stuff. Comment. What do you think about Darius? Do you think Darius is a good guy? Do you think he's a genuine dude? Do you think he should stick around the commentary community? Are you enjoying his presence? We are. Uh, Please support him. Please. Please make him come over here. Yes. Talk him up. Check out his Twitch streams. Uh, He's been streaming on Twitch a lot, and he's been pretty active, and he's been hitting hitting the rounds. Uh, He's been advertised on Drama Alert. Uh, the Twitter account, he's, he's he's popping up. He's popping up. Nicholas Diorio has been uh, sending clips to everyone in voice chats. Like he's he seems like a funny dude, and I, I think he's pretty entertaining. So you guys should uh, go check him out on his Twitch streams. And uh, Chris um, Diesel, you guys got anything? I just appreciate Matt putting this together. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, th- thank you to Matt for putting this together, getting us in a call with Darius, and I. 
I honestly, I feel like an asshole for like laughing at Darius. I also yeah. feel like an idiot for thinking he was like a complete fucking psycho. I feel like I fell for the joke. I, I feel punked. Yeah. Like, feel the, character, the character was so strong. I believed it. I believed it. I fell for his bit. Have you guys found out that wrestling isn't real anymore? Is this what's happening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is that moment for me, D Max. I'm I'm oh, really exactly. I'm reeling with this revelation. But I <laughs> this is I'm like genuinely I'm genuinely happy to see that Darius is like normal. Not a bad guy. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm happy about that. I, I was what the fuck happened when I came back and <laughs> Oh I, yeah. Well, he, he was, was just like, showing us his nails because he said that he had cut uh, his. Uh, uh, he was girl cutting he was his nails. Him. So he's yeah. cutting his nails on camera, and then he was like, "You want me to show you your feet, my feet?" And I'm like, "Yeah, show it." And then the camera <laughs> was on his dick. <laughs> yeah, I literally sat down and I was like looking at the screen, and it's just his dick right there. I'm pretty I'm sure like, we oh. got a yeah, it was a taint shot. Yeah, yeah, it which was... is now the second that we've seen on now recording. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. Oh, I forgot to ask him how his fucking dog is doing, but I'm, I'm guessing his dog's doing pretty good. The lore with that is like he spent ten thousand dollars. Like no, he tra- bought a puppy. Rex. Yeah, yeah tra- Train Rex yeah. gave him ten thousand dollars to save the dog's life after he adopted yeah. it. He bought a puppy with Parvo, and it was going to die, and it took like ten thousand dollars. So uh, he was able to restore that puppy. Good for him. Uh, Core, uh, you got anything to say, buddy? Matt Pitt's an awesome guy, and I greatly appreciate him having <laughs> my favorite guy Darius on the podcast. And uh, I'm also really, really gay. All wow, right, thank you, good for you, Cor. <laughs> yeah, say, Cor. good job, buddy. All right, thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Y'all have a good one. And remember, now recording is always recording. Good night. Enjoy your jerk circle night tonight. Uh... <laughs> That's going to be a noise complaint. <laughs>